Hello and welcome to the weekly Asylum and Immigration Reform Recap, where I share with you five recent stories of interest for asylum seekers and those wanting to stay up to date on immigration news. This week, we're discussing A majority of Americans now favor reducing immigration amid recent border issues. New asylum rules led to a sharp decline in U.S. immigration court cases in June 2024. States are divided on immigration policies with both restrictive and supportive measures. The U.S. conducted its largest mass deportation to China in five years in June 2024. Political platforms converge on tougher immigration policies despite voter preferences. I'm Brian Manning, and I used to be an asylum officer with the government, but now, as an asylum lawyer, well, I help immigrants all over the country to secure their future in America through asylum. All right, let's get to the news. First up, a recent poll reveals a significant increase in the number of Americans wanting to reduce immigration, with 55% now favoring this view, up from 41% last year. This marks the first time since 2005 that a majority has preferred less immigration, with the highest percentage since 2001. The shift in public opinion comes amid record high illegal border crossings last year, though these numbers have since decreased, especially since June, when President Biden implemented a controversial program that makes it all but impossible for many migrants to win asylum in the United States. Attitudes towards immigration policies also show strong support for hiring more border patrol agents and temporarily halting asylum applications, while opinions on deportation and pathways to citizenship remain divided. Republicans, Democrats, and independents all show increased preferences for reduced immigration, but with varying degrees of support for specific policies. And up next for update number two. The number of new U.S. immigration court cases fell sharply in June after President Biden implemented new asylum rules at the southwest border, according to a report by Syracuse University's Transaction Records Access Clearinghouse. The total dropped to about 100,000, down from 140,000 in May. The new rules effectively bar asylum for those entering between legal ports of entry or without an appointment via the CBP-1 application unless they meet specific conditions. The decline is especially notable among Venezuelans and Mexican nationals, with the former, Venezuelans, accounting for an outsized number of asylum seekers in recent years. Border patrol encounters also decreased, with over 70,000 people removed or returned since the new rules took effect. Immigration advocates have criticized the rules as inconsistent with the United States' international obligations and even illegal under domestic law. The program is the subject of litigation. All right, it's time for our third immigration update. As of mid-2024, over 700 immigration-related bills have been tracked across the U.S., highlighting significant legislative activity in this area, according to a report from the nonprofit American Immigration Council. States are divided between enacting restrictive policies and advancing pro-immigrant measures. Florida, Washington, and Virginia are expanding licensure opportunities for internationally trained professionals, while states like Pennsylvania and Hawaii are creating offices of new Americans to support immigrant integration. Meanwhile, anti-immigrant policies similar to Texas SB4 are being proposed in states like Iowa, Oklahoma, and Arizona. Despite legal challenges, these measures generate fear among immigrant communities. The focus on immigration policies remains high, with state-level initiatives playing a crucial role in shaping the landscape. States continue to demonstrate the potential for positive impacts through supportive policies amid ongoing debates and a looming presidential election in which immigration is a central theme. By the way, if you want to stay updated on asylum and immigration reform news, then be sure to press the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss the next video. Okay, moving on, we're ready for update number four. In late June, the United States conducted its largest mass deportation to China in five years, returning 116 Chinese citizens. The Department of Homeland Security has faced challenges deporting Chinese nationals, but is now collaborating with China on more removal flights. Deportation flights require the receiving country's consent and cooperation, and political concerns often bear on the issue of repatriation. There has been a surge in recent years of Chinese migrants entering the U.S. through Latin America. Many travel from China to Ecuador, which does not require that Chinese nationals have a visa to enter the country. In 2022, over 4,500 Chinese were granted asylum in the U.S., making them the most common recipients, followed by Venezuelans, Salvadorans, Guatemalans, and Indians. Asylum approvals dipped in 2020 and 2021, but surged to over 60,000 in 2023. And finally, our fifth immigration update for this week. Republican and Democratic platforms on immigration and public safety have converged, emphasizing tougher policies and enforcement, according to a report from the ACLU. Candidates on the far ends of the spectrum dominate the discourse, exploiting fears to advocate for stricter measures at the border and increased incarceration, labeling dissenters as weak, says the ACLU. However, new ACLU polling 
reveals voters prefer addressing root causes over punitive approaches. Contrary to political wisdom, humane policies are both effective and politically advantageous. Voters support balanced immigration solutions, including paths to citizenship and favor investments in housing and mental health over increased policing. The research underscores the electorate's desire for justice-focused policies, suggesting candidates should pivot towards these solutions for electoral success. Such arguments, however, are unlikely to gain traction with the leading candidates in the presidential race, who both see being tough on immigration as a crucial tenet of their campaigns. And that concludes this week's immigration news. If you want to win asylum in the United States, then you should call my office today. We help people all over the country, so it doesn't matter where you are. Call us now to schedule an asylum strategy session so that we can assist you in securing your future in America through asylum. Again, I'm Brian Manning, and it's an honor to serve you in your immigration journey.